Hi everybody, it's Eva and welcome to my channel Revit Plus. We're so happy that you decided to join us and learn more about Revit through our tutorials, tips and tricks. Our main aim is to provide you with engaging and informative content that will enhance your Revit skills and overall experience. We truly appreciate your support and if you enjoy our content, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on our latest video. Okay, so let's get started. Today, I would like to show you a little bit more about Veras and that is an added inside my Revit model. And here I have a, just a, it's a 3D architectural Revit model sample that is coming in Revit. Okay, so the first thing that you need to know is that you need to create a template if you don't have it for the 3D view that we are going to render. Okay, so next we have to go to the graphic um, the graphic options, so graphic display options, and the first thing that you have to click is in a style realistic, and then you have to ac activate uh, show edges and smooth lines, and you, you have to be both. Next, uh, shadows, you have to activate both, cast and show ambient as well. Uh, next is lighting. You have to activate uh, sun only and just uh, type 30, 40 and 30. Next, uh, the background, it has to be in gradient background. Okay, so when you when all of this is done, okay, we are ready to open Veras. So we are going to click here in start and it's opening now and in this case we are going to i want the total width of this render and i would like four renders okay so in this case the the test that i'm going to do is um i really i want to render the image as it is in my Revit model i don't want to do some creative um options because uh, normally in our practice, when we are in a stage three or four, uh, we just we need to render what we have in our Revit model. Mm, we just with the only time when we do creative option is when we are in a stage at a stage two or one or zero, when we are just doing a pure um, concept design. But for now, we need to create the render as it is what we uh, what we have in our Revit model. So, uh, well, I'm going to reduce the creative strength to uh, really, really low. Let's say 30, 30. I'm going to increase the style strength uh, to 81, maybe. Yes, the width is the total width. I'm going to create four renders and I'm going to click in as interiors and uh, is aerial view. And now I'm going to write some prompts that, for example, uh, modern uh, house. I'm going to say timber, uh, timber and glass facade. Um, yeah, I'm going to say it's a summer. I'm going to say uh, it's a summer uh, interior, interior light. I'm going to say, what else? Interior lights. Um, okay, so trees, background, yeah. background, and yeah, summer, and one more is gold light. Okay, let's do these renders and see what we will have. So now is starting to create the renders here. How you can see, that's the first one. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I like it. Uh, it's creating here like a, some kind of shadows, like a, if I uh, have like a glass or something, but it's not too bad. I like I like that. So that's my second render. Uh, okay, that's my third. It's quite similar to the previous one. And that's the number four. Okay, 
okay, it's not bad. Um, okay, I will continue uh, trying the several tests, but for now, it's just I wanted to show these uh, little uh, tips, tips and tricks to using Reveras in our Revit model. Thanks for watching, and I see you in our next video. Bye for now. Bye.